Hi, Chris Matson here. I'm asking you to choose right now. Would you rather have a world filled with love, filled with freedom, with truth, filled with a collective consciousness that is at one with each other, even though every being is different, just like every plant out here has their different nuances, right? Every one of us is different, including beliefs and things, but yet there's a oneness, a harmony, a beautiful flow. I want you to choose yes to this. Do you choose a world that is actually, rather than people waking up in stress, trying to figure out how they're going to survive and make a living for the rest of their life, every day a repeat of all this, would you rather have them waking up when their body temple is ready, having a beautiful, blissful breakfast, and then going in nature, being filled with the sunlight and the blessings and the fresh air, and all of the attunement and vibrant beauty that happens with that? Would you rather have the children being programmed in a school, in a room of stale air with Wi-Fi zapping them, where they have to raise their hand to even go pee, right? And being programmed, not taught how to be free and live a beautiful life, but programmed to make sure they obey, including to stand up and move when the bell rings to their next place that they're told to be. Wouldn't you rather have children that are in a natural, beautiful flow in a community, a society of, of others that uh, on a local basis where the moms are enjoying nature and teaching the kids how things grow and how to count and all of these things, right? We can have a heart-based world filled with love. And what it's going to require is saying no to all the stuff that is coming into our field now. There is a uh, controlling elite that is behind all of this stuff, trying to enslave us, trying to bring us into a totalitarian state. That's why when you go to a grocery store, that stuff, 95% or whatever, it's not even healthy, right? You go to a medical doctor and just about always, they're not uh, checking into the root causes and what healing things that will bring you into health, they're there to give you a prescription, you know, on and on. So we got to get out of all of these old paradigms, right? And now there is a lot of control mechanisms, mainstream media, authorities, governments, all of this, you know, telling us we must obey and this is the way it is, and don't listen to those conspiracy people, you know. Uh, that's all programming. We got to get out of that. We have to move in the heart, filled with love. Asking one question for anything that you're not sure about. What would love do now? What would my heart face be, right? And I know it's so easy to get into anger right now when we see all the lies and that, you know, people walking around with masks as if that's going to help anything. It's just, you know, it's a, an alert that they're programmed, they're in the program, you know. Uh, yeah, like a mask, uh, like one doctor said, that would be like um, uh, putting chain link fence around your house to keep mosquitoes out. It, you know, it's like, duh. You know, but anyway, that's, I digress. We, we can have a world, a beautiful world, an incredible world. Look at this view. 
right there's a beautiful lake, the pure air. There, we haven't been chemtrailed in months, so the skies are clear. You know, uh, everything is, is, is coming into a harmony in nature. Now we have to do that in our society. You know, we bring in the system, not systems, that's what's given us all the problems. We need to bring in uh, mechanisms that free us with the visions. That's what we have to do now. If you're moving in anger and fear and uh, even depressions and things because of all that's going on, hey, I get it. I completely get it. I empathize with you, right? But we have to get past that into the solution phase, which is turn that fear into visions, knowing that love uh, will do it. Love is the most powerful thing there is. And an aspect of love is truth. So we keep speaking the truth, holding the visions, resisting. Love also says no. It says, just like the light says no to darkness, right? It simply shows up and the darkness has to go. We, as love, heart-based beings, we reclaim this earth, this world, by saying yes to love and no to all that it isn't. Uh, I stand for love every moment. I stand for truth. I stand for freedom, right? Not tyranny, freedom. I stand for uh, truth. And anybody that's telling you there's an invisible enemy that they're protecting you from, whether it's terrorists or a virus, uh, you know they have a, an agenda that is not conspiring for your highest good. So we have to say no. Speak out. Be bold. Be a warrior. You know, uh, we need to do that. If somebody is defending vaccines or Bill Gates, things like that, show them the evidence. You know, like, hey, why this is insane. You know, uh, yeah, that's what we have to do right now. Please join with me because we're at a crossroads. We're at a timeline now, right now, today, right now, that uh, we can, uh, if they have their way, we're going into a totalitarian state that makes China and North Korea look like uh, a dance in the park. They want depopulation. They want a bunch of robotic uh, people chipped and vaccinated and half sick and uh, a lot less of us. That's what they want. I want a world of pure love where every being born is free. They have their free land. They've got their free energy and uh, ways that work for all of us. Yes. Now, you're voting right now by what you do after this, you know. Are you going to uh, share this video? Are you going to be meditating, filling your heart with pure love, and then moving in the truth, sharing visions at work, and having your life move into the power, right? Or are you going to defend your masters, your controllers, or are you just going to go into uh, more fear and anger and, you know, do that stuff? We need true light workers now. We need people of the heart. Please join.